Right, well, here we are, Jamie, inside. And is this, what would you call this, a piece, would you? At this stage, it's a project, a I project, think. A project, right. <laughs> and, and what kind of... Because I'm getting all cocky now, because I did some stone masonry the other day, so right. what kind of stone is this, then? OK, this is Portland stone. Portland, so Which is from the Isle of Portland. Portland. And it, <laughs> There's a clue there, isn't there? There is. And it, it's a limestone. Right. And as you can see, it's a very clean white piece of stone. Yeah, it's beautiful, uh, isn't it? It is lovely stuff. So what's this going to be? Uh, well, it's a, it's a sculpture for Stonehouse, which is my local town. Oh, the other stone masonry I did was just like a, a top of a wall, so it didn't right, sound okay, yeah. how, do you, yeah. how do you come up with the things you want to put on this? Um, well, they're, they're things with local associations, like right. this row of birds across the top. These are doves. Right. Uh, locally, there's a hill called Dove Row Hill. Uh, so that's just a little joke that appeals to me. I see what you've done. Very yeah. good, that. And then what's this here? This here, this is... The, the, the emblem for Stonehouse is a uh, kind of, like a Tudor rose. So you're going to carve that on there? Yeah. And you've got, you've got this, this thing up here. What's this called? This that's, is a, that's a maquette. A maquette? That's essentially a scale model of, of, of what you're going to do. Of what I'm going to do. But that's the rose yeah. there, is it? That's the rose at the top I must there. say, I'm very happy because that looks like a Yorkshire rose there, so I feel good about that. Oh, right, OK. Well. All right. <laughs> and he's going to go there, yeah? Yeah. And what about this? You've, you've put some big grooves there. What's, what's going on there? Well, this middle bit's coming out. Basically, right. what the piece is is, is is a gateway from one millennium to the next, uh -huh. or, or from now to the future. Right. Um, and my, the idea is that uh, at least small people, kids, will be able to climb through it. So what I've got here is, is like a template for these doves. Right here. Which are in pairs. OK, and that fits on there like that. So the doves so, are in pairs? Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I, I've drawn some of the way around this. Do you want to do a bit? Aye, why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's a gradual process. Oh, giving him some big feet. What I'm planning to do is to rough all the doves out. Ah, so I don't suppose you can make them too dinky and too detailed, can you, really? So, Jamie, we're going to have a go at this then, are we? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, yeah. yeah. OK, well, OK, right. if you don't mind putting a pair of glasses no, on. Safety goggles. Yeah, keep uh, the bits uh, out your eyes. <laughs> That's always something I like to have, not bits in my eyes. OK, and then what we're going to do is... With a little, a little claw like that. Right, yeah, we've seen one of these. And a little oh, dummy. Oh, what's that? That's a dummy. A dummy? It's fantastic. So that's just a big metal head, is it? Yeah, it's just a little steel iron. Yeah. And, and the nice thing about dummies is, is that they're, they're just very easy to use, very comfortable, because right. they just nestle in your hand. And, and you can't really miss and hurt yourself with a dummy. Right. OK, you say okay. that. OK. And I've just started, you can see, I've started just kind of roughing out this outline of the, the, the dove. And you're not holding back there, are you? You're going for it. Well, yeah. So is there any method? Are you coming at any angle or just whatever feels good? I tend to do it by this method of kind of hitting it and taking the chisel just back along, either back along the stone or just up into the air a bit. Yeah, lifting. That's what, that's when I went with the stone mason the other day, that's exactly what he taught me. Right. And then it's just a matter of kind of getting around the corners. So <laughs> do you want to have a go? Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So do I stand? Okay. Yeah, well, sort of... I'm scared of doing the beak bit to tell yeah, you the truth. The, uh, yeah, if you're working, if you're doing the beak, work, work in this that way. way. OK, because yeah. then we don't chip a big piece off the end. That's it. So is, it, is there anything special about this, what I'm using, this chisel? Uh, well, it's a claw chisel. Right. Um, it actually has a little kind of detachable blade, which yeah. fits into a slot there. And the, the reason for using a claw is that you get, well, well partly, it's actually easier because you're only hitting a small amount of stone at a time, so right, it yeah, goes yeah. forward faster. Yeah. But also, you get a nice texture at the end of it. No, oh, yeah, it's awful um, that texture, isn't it? It's easier to see things which have a bit of texture to them, uh -huh. and eventually that's going to kind of give the feel of feathers to it when it's, All right. when it's finished. Yeah. Shall I crack on with this? Well, yeah, you've got an awful lot to do, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, I'll go along this way now. Eh? Yeah. More brutal than that, you get a slightly tighter end. It's always the small bit that's going to break away. So right. if you're just taking a little bit off there, right. that's it's the little bit that'll go, okay. not the big bit here. 
this large amount will stay here. As long as you're not trying to split in two, there's not. Yeah. So how's that coming along then? Well, I mean, actually, I think what's happened is that the, the, the face is getting longer and longer. Yeah. It's a gradual process. The more you take away from one place, um, the more you realise you need to take away somewhere else. Yeah, because it's always moving, I it's suppose. Always, yeah. It's always kind of yeah. trying to get the whole thing to, to, to move along Because you only you take know, together. What, what's coming away, really, so it's up to it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the thing is that, that you, it's, it's not as dangerous as people think, because... Right. I mean, the people always say, well, what happens if at the last minute you knock the nose off a face or, yeah, or, or, or something like that, or, whatever, or the yeah. arm off? And, and, and the thing is that you don't really do that because you're not working with a great big chisel and a great big hammer on a nearly finished beak. You know? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing is that until you actually undercut something, you can always, nearly always rescue it. I mean, I once was doing a hand, for instance, yeah. and I, I did a lot of work on It was quite spread. I did a lot of work on the little finger and then I broke it off. But there was all this stone was still here, so I simply carved the finger close in. Right. So basically, but it you, wasn't you, catastrophic. You always move one bit, and if anything goes wrong, you can move that into another bit. Well, you can up to the point where you've kind of undercut, and, right. and yeah. you know you can keep on rescuing them. I mean, obviously, there comes a point where you can't rescue anything anymore. Right. Um, There's actually a, a true fact about doves, and magicians use it that the dove is the only bird that can tuck its own head under its wing. Basically, if I break the head off in this, I can pretend it's a magician's dove. That's a great consolation to you. <laughs> anyway, there <laughs> we go. <laughs> All right, thank you. It's going to take me ages to do this. It, this, this isn't going to be too detailed, is it? Uh, this bit isn't it? No. But... But, but these kind of things... Some of the bits... Wow. Oh, like the, two, that. the, that's the, the rows will be more like, like this one. So that's going to go there, but it'll be obviously circular. It's, it's gonna... got to be sca it's scaled, scaled up a bit. One of them is going to go... That is fantastic. Look at that. And this whole thing here is going to take you another four months to finish, isn't it? Uh, about that, yeah. Well, I haven't, I haven't really got that much time, and I don't think I've been that helpful, so... Uh, <laughs> I'll go over there and do you some dusting, shall I? <laughs> well, that would be nice, yeah. There's plenty of that to do. <laughs> oh, God. I'll see you a lot in part two.